got you. Where or where to begin? Rose Hanberry and David Rock Savage, they are married. Rose Hanberry had an alleged falling out with Kate Middleton. Rose Hanberry's grandmother was a bridesmaid in Queen Elizabeth's wedding. Rose Hanberry's sister is Marina Hanberry. She's married to Ned Lampton, who's the Earl of Durham. Marina at one point shared a flat with Fred Lampton, who's the son of Ned. Rose was once engaged to Fred, so that could have been weird. Omid Scobie's much anticipated book, Endgame, dropped today. And unlike huge swaths of the British media, I've actually read the book. It's not hard to find the thesis of this book because it's written in the prologue. Quote, I fear that by continuing to ignore the ongoing constitutional corruption in the palace's inner sanctum and enabling a cabal of courtiers and the British media to call the shots, as well as quietly supporting those who have brought shame and humiliation to the crown, the royal institution is risking untold damage to the queen's legacy. Quite unusual to hear so early into the reign of a new monarch. Uh, the number two outlining so regularly how they'll do things differently. She was ready to discuss this 2018 piece, specifically the research from the HJS, which is the basis for most of this article. Kind of. I know the many avenues that the HJS can get into the media, but let's talk about the connections to US dark money and the British government. And yes, here is a mind map that I sketched. It's a spaghetti. HJS Inc., which is located in America. It's a nonprofit vehicle that provides a bulk of its funding because America has a dark money problem. This is my research into how Camilla Parker Bowles was able to go from this to this. In 1996, Charles decides that he is going to have his press office split from the palace. He handed control of his media operations to Mark Boland. And while Boland needs to improve Camilla's image in the press, he also needs to improve Charles. Emphasis was very much on a more relaxed, fun-loving Charles, and critically, that new narrative, Charles the Good Father. To wit, the presence of Prince Harry, coincidentally on a half-term break, created PR opportunities galore. Camilla, right? Amanda McManus works for her. She's a trusted aide, works for Camilla. She's the one that lets the Highgrove meeting slip between Prince William and Camilla. Slip, told her husband on purpose, took the fall, whatever you wanna call it. Some examples, you can see the lack of agility in 90s print media. This September 9th, 1997, a piece from The Inquirer could not be pulled from shelves. Diana goes sex mad. In which the editor at the time told the Washington Post in 1997 that it wasn't actually a negative article. It was celebrating her finding her sexuality. Sure, Jim. A lot of papers immediately start placing blame on the foreign paparazzi. Why were the paparazzi, especially the foreign paparazzi, willing and able to hound her relentlessly in reckless, dangerous, fatal manners? Because of the payday they would get from the press. 